I, I guess I skipped that. Hello, and welcome back to La Milana 2, again. Let's just, oh, I can't continue. I guess that's, you can't continue, like, if you close the game. Was that the same in La Milana 1? I think so. But yeah, we are done with Roots of Yggdrasil. We're in the Divine Fortress. Are we? How did I get in here again? I've categorized all of my, what? How did I, what, what, where is this? What happened last time? I categorized all of my, uh, screenshots. And I don't even remember getting here. Uh. Oh no, yeah, right, I did. And then I, like, I wanted to continue on until we got to, uh, the save point. I guess. But I don't even remember where that was from. Went through a door in Roots, then went through a few screens. Oh yeah, and I hit like, threw some stuff through here. Yeah, okay, I, I remember now. So we came from the right. Which means I probably miscategorized a couple of screenshots if we read some stuff in here. Like this one. Aim and shoot, yeah. And this one. I'm kind of thinking, maybe I should like... Maybe I should sort my screenshots while I'm playing instead of just leaving it all for, for later. Because it's kind of a pain to go back through and just have only a screenshot and I have to like try and remember where the screenshot came from, in which area, in which order. Well, the order is just in order of file order, but still. I don't know. It would take more time, like, doing it live, where I would have to, like, copy-paste the screenshots around, but... It might be better overall, for me. And there's one of these eyes. I don't know what it's, like, protecting here. The Migratory Raven. Ravens, Hugin and Munin. Odin's servants and protectors of a sigil. Some screenshots may not matter, as it's related to something in another area. Yeah, I mean, in that sense, they're complete, but I still want to have them, like, categorized, if possible. Your suggestion last time of screenshot screen with tablet, then screenshot... Screenshot content of tablet seemed like a reasonable one. Well, then that just doubles all the screenshots, and that was mainly just for, uh, like, the specific mechanics, like, seeing that Wheel of Time or whatever it was, just remembering what screen that was in. Crow's Map. Yeah. May represent Divine Fortress itself. What is this guy protecting here? I'm not sure what he's protecting. This thing? I guess when this is, like, extended, maybe? Yeah, double screenshots, but removes the need to remember where they were. Kind of. I mean, just looking at this screen alone, would you know that this is not in the roots of Yggdrasil and it's actually in Divine Fortress? Like, I guess I would have to do this. I would take a screenshot here, just whatever I'm reading here, and then this, but that's a little much, I feel. Oh, hello. Tyr, I've heard that the trickster of Yggdrasil has been freed. I saw light fly towards Valhalla. I believe he came back for the purpose of reawake reawakening Vritra. Our own race created this disaster. It is the beginning of the end. Were you not listening? Good. Here we got Tears Encyclopedia. Guess I should have said I wasn't listening. No, nope. damn it. Actually, I wasn't. Okay. I forgot the screenshot. Good. 
Good. Oh, Hugin and Moonin. Really? Already? They're pooping. Ow. That was bad. Uh. Oh, they're easy. Seems like you can just kind of face tank it. Hard to land too many hits, though. Oh, man. Nope. Okay. Now it's getting to be a bit of a problem. Maybe I should use some shurikens. Never mind. Origin sig sigil. Hey, you scored a sigil. It's like a key you can use to break seals inscribed with the same Lamalana character. Breakable seals should start glowing when you walk up to one while holding the sigil with the same character. Oh, so you actually have to do it now? Like, equip them? Aw, oh, man. Oh, maybe not. Maybe don't. Just like, as long as I have it. And then, oh boy, we can scan a lot here. Yeah, maybe I'll ease up on some of the... The screenshots. If it, like, really doesn't look like there's anything of value in the description, I probably don't need to do it. Surprised I can't look here. Treasure chest! A treasure chest containing an artifact left in the ruins. Certain mechanisms or traps must be undone in order to unlock it. Okay, good. It is just walk up to it again. Oh, and that activates that and closes this eye for some reason, even though it didn't do anything. It wasn't protecting anything to begin with. Well, that was a very easy mini-boss. Okay, we can climb up there. We should go and save. Uh, I guess maybe I'll... Mm, I don't want to, like, make too many save files. I don't know which ones of these are important to save. I mean, I guess I have, I have backups. Maybe I should just not even care at all. I'm already backing up all of them, so... Should be fine. But then we can also go left here. Ow. Is that a fairy? Four fairies live on within Yggdrasil. Their power will be revealed to those who obtain the Fairy King's grace. The light of the fairies will summon a door. Oh. They have removed the fairy, like, changing thing that you can do, because you can't move during the summoning animation. Hi, fairy. I guess it doesn't talk to me. Oh no, it, it still helps me. Fairies? Investigating these ruins would be a lot easier if they lent you, lent you their powers. They've got various powers, like health restoration. There were fairies in the ruins of Lamalana, but those were created with the Tree of Life, a machine used to create life itself. I heard from the Fairy Queen that the or originals from which they were copied are trapped inside Eglana. If you spring them free, I'm sure they'll cooperate. Okay, so I'm actually helping. So, this is the health one, right? Oh! Wait, I'm, like, invincible? Oh god, she heals so fast! Oh, Jesus! 
Well, that was a trap. Valhalla, where the souls of warriors gather, where there are twelve thrones, a rafters of spears. Sh what? Where there are twelve thrones, a rafters of spear shafts, and a roof thatched of shields. Holy shit, read that sentence like five times fast. Yeah, the healing fairy seems pretty uh, buffed compared to before. Can you can you not? Please come down. I guess I'll just climb up. Wait, so what what happened here? How did I even fall down to begin with? And who is that guy? Does that stay open, I wonder? Dokalfar. I don't know what that means. Something elf? Like, doll elf? Elf doll? A fairy fallen into darkness. She is able to use storm-based magic. Doc Alfar was one of the Alfar, put under a curse by the Vanir so they might make use of her talents in battle. Uh-huh. She certainly did not look quite that sexy in the sprite work. Haramod, a member of the Odin. Didn't I already read this? Just didn't check after last time, I guess. Tyr, a member of the Odin. Tyr's a genius swordsman, hailed as a god of war. His right arm was gnawed off when he sealed away Fenrir, a monster born to the trickster of Yggdrasil. And then Fenrir went and uh, started like gnawing on the roots of Yggdrasil, right? Or is that... Was that Fafnir? That might have been Fafnir, or that might have been Nidhogg. I don't even remember. There's so much like Norse mythology to keep track of. Something nod on something. Yeah, I thought it was like a bandana wielding, like, thief thing. Now I can kind of see how it's a fairy. They're very big, though, for being a fairy. The soul gate is sealed by the souls of those who keep guard. Extinguish the lights of souls etched above the gate. Offer as many guardians' as lives as lights, then, lo, the gate shall open. Well, I mean, that seems, like, straightforward in that sense. Like, we've already done that, so... I don't think that matters. This just opens the chest? Yeah. That's an easy Aunt Jewel. That was quick. And I'm not checking all of these, like Vanir Seal. Should be checking what the screens are called. Oh! I see. Broker, get out! Alright. Don't you want something to smith, maybe? I'm actually gonna take a screenshot here, because yeah, this seems like we'll bring him something to smith at some point. Fafnir's a dragon or something? Yeah, I, I don't remember. Fenrir was gnawing on the roots? Who are you? It's Aitri. You have no place here, get out! Alright, I'll just remember both of them. Broker, one of the Enid, Enead, I don't know, tribe of fifth children. Broker hated his family and now lives in the Divine Fortress. A genius of smithing, he created many artifacts, though he is not one to be depended on. And Aitri, the younger brother of the genius smithing duo, 
He appears to be slightly more reasonable than his brother, but still has no interest outside making things. Okay. Do I want to drop down on the right here? Doesn't matter. Ah, that's where I fell down. And when when you fall, can I jump as well? No. Same as in Lama Lama 1. Once you fall, you're falling. Alright. And there is a hidden shop here. It's probably in here, and it's probably when you once you hit the seal, I would imagine. So not really relevant right now. We'll uh, go back this way and check. Hold on, could I go up here? No, you still can't like jump up places in uh, Lama Lama 2. You have to either climb up a ladder or... Well, yeah, that's it. You have to climb up a ladder. But we do have this place to check out. And down as well. Let's check down to begin with. And also, let's check. How did I get here again? Oh, that's him. I don't remember where I came in. Was that down below? Yeah, this is familiar. Yeah, I definitely need to resort my screenshots. I'm really, uh... Weighing the pros and cons right now, like... Slowing down the stream a little bit by marking each screenshot or like moving it to the proper folder as we're doing it, taking like five to ten seconds every time to do that, versus actually having to sort it all out later and taking way more than ten seconds. I'm not so sure which, which way to do it. Ow. All right, so up here is Fairy King's boat. Out. It cannot be reached by your feet. Turn back. It couldn't be reached by my feet. Turn back. Careful, your toes don't get pinched. You don't want to end up like me. Dead by a pinched toe. Oh, Jesus. But I can't, like, get up here, right? Nope, that's not, like, a ladder. And what did we just read about the Fairy King? Ah. Uh. Yeah, it looks like an inactive ladder. Like, it'll probably come out at some point. Get down here. Did I have any other way to go on the left here? I guess we should also be, like, holding down occasionally. There might be secret ladders. You never know. Oh yeah, I can just jump across here. Yeah, there we go. Von your seal again. Yeah. 
And that just leads to Valhalla. Okay. Jesus. This is getting confusing. Not sure what's down there. Not sure I want to find out. This is the Fortress of the Vanir, who defied the, the Aesir... God, I hate these these names! ...who sought to destroy Yggdrasil. The Calamity Vritra is sealed here until the day comes for the end. Yeah, this is definitely one of those games where just reading things quietly to yourself would be, uh, preferable. We got an active seal, we got Corn Man. Why, why do we have Corn Man? Why the hell do we have Corn Man? Okay. Carbunko. Nope. It's Cornbunko. Shit. What? Why does this keep saying it's... Huh? Why does that keep saying he's like... Someone I need to check again. Is that a bug? Oh yeah, by the way, I, I got D-pad support now. Uh, I guess I'll talk about that once we can save again. There's like something you have to do, which is kind of weird and unintuitive. Uh, let me read Corn Man. Yep, it's it's corn. Corn dog. It is a corn dog. Carbunko looks like an ear of corn that has sprouted legs. They aren't quick, but have extremely tough bodies. It takes a while to bring one down. It is said their bodies are hardened to guard the gold at their center. Uh-huh. So I guess they drop coins, yeah? What are you doing? Stop. Why do you have to balance down the staircase? Kinara. The Kinara is a monster with the upper body of a woman and lower body of a bird. No? No, she does not. Those are hooves. <laughs> what are you talking about? Originally, they had a quiet temperament and an appreciation of music. Tensions within the race have turned them violent, and they use sound as a weapon. I don't know if that's a mistranslation, like it's supposed to be the lower body of a horse or something? Or if it's just like... The actual thing is the lower body of a bird, and they just made it... Like the, the character art have hooves and a horse tail or whatever that is. Something went wrong. Oinir. Oinir? I felt the soul of the trickster of Yggdrasil. He is attempting to awaken the Ankh in this land. It is not yet time to unleash Vritra. He is in hiding somewhere. Stop him. And I guess the trickster of Yggdrasil is just Ratatosk, I think. So we're, like, following in his footsteps the entire time. Stop. Please. Oh, man. Okay, those are kind of bad. Rakshasa. Rakshasa, I don't know. I know that word from something. Oops. A spirit of the natural world defiled by the chaos of Eglana. The Vanir feared them and called them devils. The Rakshasa are aggressive and breathe fire, roasting their enemies before feeding on them. They should roast the corn guys. Armored thrones. Thrones dotted around Valhalla. It is said that the true king sits on but one of the twelve thrones. Let's screenshot that. They're supposed to be birds? And thus have talents. It's just odd art. Yeah. That's kind of strange. There's a hidden means of binding to an Ankh. The fate of those who bury their souls within an Ankh is tied to its guardian. Okay. Map? Yep. Wall of Spears. Don't see any spears. And there's the, uh, the tablet.
This is Valhalla, where the souls of those fallen in battle are gathered. That Holy Grail tablet is colored differently. Since it isn't a regular Holy Grail tablet, I don't think it will be recorded to the Holy Grail. There was something similar in La Milana. If you got some sort of game app loaded up, apparently you can tweak the frequency to record to the Holy Grail. To think that something made recently would operate at the same frequency as another made centuries ago. It's pretty much a miracle. Yep. Also, I've been forgetting about my tea. In the background? What, what is in the background? Oh, the, the spears, I see. So yeah, this is like the reverse side. So I guess that means Valhalla is the reverse side, the mirror side to... Uh, what was it called? Divine Fortress? Probably. Okay, uh, this looks like a boss fight, or mini-boss. Let's save again. And let's go take a little hot springs trip as well. Oh, though that means I have to, like, get back here, but that's fine. Let's talk to the Elder as well. I used to be a gamer till just a while back, but I don't play at all anymore. It's like, I just don't feel it anymore, you know? Like, there's... there just aren't any games that really speak to me anymore. And it sounds like a you problem. There's way too many games that speak to me. That's... that's my issue. Yeah, time for tea breaks more often. So now to try and not take as much damage on the way. I guess we could go across here as well. I'm gonna do that to begin with. Oh, you can hit the corn as well. Like, pop them. The blue eye protects Yggdrasil. It levels divine punishments against those who dare to harm the holy lands. The red eye protects Yggd Yggdrasil. It levels divine rec reckoning against those pitiful few who ransack these lands. Okay. Yeah, so blue is don't strike things, red is don't take things, until we, we're like... We disable it. Oh, Jesus! Thanks, Bat! Thanks, Bat! Sorry, I killed you! Is there another one here somewhere? I can't really tell. You can never trust areas here. The gold-plated giant Vukub Kekweeks? What the hell are these names? Keki is protected by his two sons, the brothers Sipakna and Kabrakan. He will be awakened when their lives are spent. Okay. All right, let's drop down and see what happens here. Uh, I don't want to drop down that way. Let's save here. Uh, 
Oh. Nothing. Well, this seems like the throne he'll sit on. But I guess later on? So I shouldn't have jumped down. But, oh well. We got a lot of shurikens. I should probably, like, use them more, honestly. Uh, I guess we need to get up again. Ow. Don't popcorn me, please. That whole drop thing is weird, like, oh, he drops coins, but, like, these also drop coins, and he doesn't- God damn it, I forgot. He doesn't, like, always drop coins, so what's the whole drop thing about? Is what they're more likely to drop, I guess? Alright, let's head up here. Blood Altar. Fire Altar. And there's Odin's left eye or right eye. Gandarv. A warrior of the Lokapala, originally a half-human, half-beast monster with an appreciation of music. Now he has been fitted with mechanical wings and fights with the power of sound. Sick. Rock out, buddy. Bust of- oh, it's Bust of Mimir, not o Odin. Encanting in front of the bust will trigger a response. So I guess I'll just take another screenshot here. Fire Altar as well. Oops. Kushan, do you know about mantras? Via the hidden relic known as the Jed Pillar, a mantra turns words- oh, nice cat and goat. Turns words containing power into power itself. Incant the Himin mantra representing heaven in front of the bust of Mimir here in this room, and a path leading up above will appear. There are a lot of similar mechanisms here in Eglana that are sealed by mantras. Well, so a lot of, like, very clear information. Push on. The sage responsible for the animals, mainly livestock, stock of the Vanir. He seems largely uninterested in his race's goals. He is content as long as he can live with his animals and provide for himself. Nice guy. I feel like this is gonna, like, pull out. No, I thought this was gonna, like, get removed. That bloody gate. Do you know what it is, Elder? That's a big old nope. You're going senile! Emoji, em emote thing. They used to be called, emo called emoticons back in my day. Apparently it's called the Corridor of Blood. Try checking it out with a scanner. There should be some kind of information on it. Uh-huh. Corridor of Blood. A corridor is said to awaken upon drinking the blood of the mighty. It is not known where the corridor leads. Alright, free heal. This will go read this as well. This just looks like Gengar or something. Three-eyed Gengar. Do not approach the Corridor of Blood. Doing so will invite the end. Those who brave the Corridor of Blood will be exiled to, to the land that is not. We can't go down here. Uh, I mean, I kind of want to save before I go to the land of the Corridor of Blood. I'm just going to drop down for now. Ooh, that's a lot of money. No! Oh, Jesus! Didn't see that. God, there's so many pitfalls all the time. And so much glossary to read. Cabracan. The second son of the giant monster Vukub Kakwix. Like his father, Cabracan's body is made of gold. He commands unbelievable strength, smashing up stone and flooring to toss at you. 
I see. So he's one of the ones I wanted to, like, kill. Yeah, and Zikpana. Zipakna. The eldest son of the giant monster Vukub something. Vukub. Like his father, his body's made of gold. Okay. So they're just kind of the same. Slight differences. And we have to, like, kill both of them? For the dad to show up? Look at that. Crawling. But now he can't get back up. I see. So it's like a one-way gate. I don't like these guys. Oh, that, like, did something. I'm not sure that was a good idea. Something happened. Hopefully it was good. Bargain duck. You look- oh, nice. You look really tough. Go ahead and buy something. Wait, Caltrop Ammo, Future Development Company. That's Future Development Company. I mean, if you got big dreams for the future, it could be pretty helpful. Are you serious? Bargain Duck can't believe his ears. Oh yeah, we're all out. Those are weights, not to be confused with cakes. You got cake? Bargain Duck is dumbfounded. I'll take that. If you can master that thing, you're my hero. Yeah, what did Future Development Company do? Take a walk on the dark side. Wait, that's just to, like, teleport to the other side? Already? Igor's seventh Flash game, a real-time simulation about space development, a movement-related app. What is this again? Does it make me faster? Oh, shit. Nope. I don't remember what it did in the original. Oops. And I guess we have to... to go through here. Hold on, T. You think that's the one that teleported you to backsides? Yeah, sure enough. Okay, yeah, that's early. There are two stone tablets that respond to the Holy Chalice. The waves that warp the chalice's power will lead you to the Black Stone Tablet. The Holy Grail? The waves that warp the chalice's power... Hmm. Yeah, we could always save in in this side, but yeah, just switching between the teleports. Can I even survive this? Oh, I can swim faster. Sit to proceed. Seems self-explanatory. Stop it, I'm sitting. Oh, sit to proceed. I guess that's what it means. Yeah. It's like that thing in Chamber of Birth, but now we can actually just duck. My dad never knew how to duck. We get Caltrops. Kind of seems like that whole Indiana Jones penitent man thing. Oh, hi! Jalandhara's room. The true lord of the Asura who deposed Vishnu suddenly were in, like, Indian, uh, what is it called again? Uh, Hindu mythology? His seat in heaven, Jalahan, ja, ja, Jalantara, he is unsealed here so his terrible power may not be free. So much for Norse mythology. Oh, there's a wall here. 
I'm not sure I want to go here quite yet. I'm not sure I want to climb up the ladder, because then I might not be able to get back. And this just leads back here. Out. I'm just gonna keep scanning the thrones just in case. Okay, so now we're just back. Back where I've been. So I guess we'll go left now. I assume this just takes me back up again. So let's go here while this guy is traveling left. God damn it. Don't turn around. Jala, ja, I can never read that. Jalandhara. Jalandhara. Maybe it's like Jalandhara? I don't know. A survivor of the sixth children's Asura race who were eradicated long ago. The Asura were a warrior tribe who used a secret art to give themselves extra arms for holding more weapons. Even among these warriors, Jalandhara, Jalandhara was the most feared to the point that the Vanir, who had attempted to utilize his power, were resigned to locking him away. Okay. Mini boss. Eglana, I was this close to clearing it. I'll try again later in the next life. Uh, hey guy. What? What just happened? Uh, I'm not sure I did a good thing there. Not sure what that guy did. He kind of looked like that one we, like, freed from the dripping blood, right? Like another vampire? Oh boy, I don't want to, like, get into a boss fight right now. Been a lot of Hindu stuff mixed in ever since the Yggdrasil area. Yeah, they're like focusing on Norse and Hindu. Alright, I'm just gonna go in, see if this guy wakes up. Oh, I can't even go in. You need the seal, okay. Alright, it's not mini boss yet. Can I even survive this? Just barely. Can I hit that? That's definitely something down there. I'm gonna screenshot that too. Because we've seen one of those before. Cast a spear that penetrates the earth through the floor that runs through it. I see, yeah. So, earth spear or whatever they were called again. We need those. I was kind of hoping they would have different weapons and sub-weapons and stuff. Not just the same thing again. Baga. There were once three machines which came to us six children from the sky. They were named Shiva, Vishnu, and Brahma. Shiva and Vishnu, weapons with the power to burn entire cities, were rendered useless during the war. Brahma alone, watching over the world from above, was taken away by beings who came from the skies. It is said that Brahma possesses all information on Eglana. So, Brahma is a Wikipedia. Is it the, uh, the glossary I have that's actually Brahma? Baga was involved with gigantic, terrible weapons, Shiva, Vishnu, and Brahma, that existed long ago. At that time, he was blinded in an accident. Though he has retired, he is probably still the most knowledgeable regarding these gi gigantic weapons. And... Bargain Duck. Race Bird. Tribe Duck. A duck who became intelligent through the influence of the ruins. He looks up to humans and dreams of being the follower of a strong individual. But he doesn't intend to leave his shop either. What a crackpot. So, do you have more to say? Yeah, Brahma has amassed an immense amount of knowledge, and is said to show it to those who desire to see it. His four arms control the four eras, the Yuga. Placing the appropriate offerings on each arm will activate Brahma. The means to solving that mystery lie in Brahma's dialogues on creation left around Eglana. Brahma may have been moved to a different location within Eglana, Shiva can no longer be used as a weapon, but its destructive power remains. Do not attack its head. 
I'll attack its head. There were once three machines who came... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm doing it again. My tea is rapidly cooling off because I'm not drinking enough. There's not many uh, pauses in here. So now what? Where do we go now? Where where have I not gone? I don't know if I can survive one hit from those spikes. I want to jump down and see if I can like hit that thing, but hold on, maybe like caltrops? How do they work? No, damn it. Oh, it works. Nice. Did it. Vuku Kekwiks. I'm a professional speedrunning exploration extraordinaire. You won't catch me wasting time examining rocks. Well, unless we're talking about my grave. Jeez, might as well examine the hell out of it. I'm gonna examine it a lot. I don't know if he has any other grave. Oh dear. Okay, you can't scan this thing in the middle. Alright, let's uh let's go and save. That was quite a lot of stuff. Yeah, corridor of blood is a thing I should get back to. Just to see what it is. PC shop, nothing to do here. I'm just gonna like revisit everyone just to see if anyone has anything new to say. Video game? Aha! I've grown, kind of grown out of that thing already. Can't waste my life playing video games for years, right? Wahaha. Yeah, much more important to have a harem. Video games, they're just a fond memory now. I guess I just found other stuff to enjoy. I'm the kind of dude who likes to seem interesting, you know? Life itself is kind of like a video game. There might be something to that. I used to be a gamer. What, why is he just talking about games all of a sudden? Because I'm holding the scanner? When you have an empty space in your heart, you fill that space with something. Before, I used to fill that hole with video games. But there's such a thing as age appropriateness, right? Right? Nope. And there are things you only become able to enjoy once you're older, yeah? Video games are bad for your eyes and your heart. Okay. I even read they're bad for your brains, too. You're not playing the right games, man. Okay, so, did we have anything to show this guy? No, not really. Yeah, can't show anything here. Nothing here. We can get this one once I save up more. I guess I'll try and do that. And we couldn't get anywhere here, right? Yeah, we need something else here. Double jump, wall jump, whatever else. Alright. Ow. Damn it. I want to kill these in case they drop coins, because we need coins. No, I did it again! God damn it, this fucking thing.
Yeah, those like time-wasting pitfalls. Not my favorite thing about La Mulana. Where it's just like if you just do something absent-mindedly, because you've ran through a place like dozens of times, you just get punished for it. And it's just it's just a little annoying. Yeah, they are visible. I think all of them are visible so far. We can also go here. Shiva sits in the heavens, from which he drops the light that burns the land below. Vishnu sits in the heavens, from which he watches the land below. The two gods fall from heaven over an old conflict, leaving behind Brahma, who is relocated to one of Yggdrasil's branches, the primeval uh, entity of many heads and arms, who watches over this world of his creation. Drops the light that burns the land below, like lava? Fire? Vishnu just watches. Well, doesn't look like we can do much here. Seems like we need the Mimir thing. Oh, god damn it! Fuck this game. <laughs> oh, hello. I guess I'm like teleporting this guy around. Whatever that means. Power altar. And yeah, we did fall down. Yeah, th that one isn't even visible. This one is kind of... I mean, it's fairly obvious, I suppose, but... Yeah. Can't see it. There's very little, like, iframes in this one. You just kind of keep getting juggled. Retra. And yeah, those blood spots as well. Vukub Kekrix. Kekui. I don't know. A subspecies of giant. Of giant. It is unclear as to which race Vukub was born to. He was captured by the Vanir, who used to be used to be used for the purpose of exterminating intruders. His body is made of gold and silver, his form is both bird-like and insect-like. He has two sons, Habrakan and Sipakna. These brothers must be killed before Vukub himself can be destroyed. Oh, it just means, like, during the fight, I guess he'll summon each of them, and then you have to kill them? Something like that? Vritra. Originally a giant mechanical serpent, Vritra was fed with the dark evil of the Vanir. What? was fed with a dark evil of the Vanir intended to bring about the world's end. What? This turned him into a violent life form. Vritra's power is said to increase over time, and that at the end of the world's lifetime, he could return the world to chaos in an instant. But that's just a theory. You know the line. It may yet be possible to defeat him while his power is still limited. Uh-huh. We can't get down any other way. We can go in here. Brihaspathi. Brihaspathi. The soul of the trickster of Yggdrasil is headed toward Vritra's Ankh. Vritra is not yet at full power. Vritra has not yet awakened. When the pitch black flames engulf this land, the end of the world will begin. Stop Vritra and the trickster of Yggdrasil. Sure thing, bro. Oh, hello. Thanks, man. I can't really get over there, though, is the issue. The soul of the trickster, yeah. Yeah, that doesn't really help me. Should probably just go and save. Yeah, let's go and save and heal up. Might as well pop by the Elder every time, just in case.
All right, time to not fall for this pitfall again. Yeah, exactly. You, you kind of want to call the trickster Loki. I mean, that, that would make sense, but like, I thought we were following Ratatosk, and Ratatosk is kind of a, a trickster as well. But I don't know. Maybe they're separate. So now the blood corridor. Oh, there's a thing here. Oh, I missed that. Have I missed those on other thrones? I didn't see that. Corridor of blood. Sounds like weird knit underground music, like when you get into figure space or something like that. Uh, feels very like Castlevania-esque. We can't scan anything. Okay. It's very bloodless for being a corridor of blood. Corridor of blood. I guess I don't need to read the other one. Oh, Shrine of the Frost Giants. Okay. Snow in ruins like these at this time of year? I've never seen snow before. It's cold, right? And slippery? All this soft snow falling makes me want to jump right into a big-ass pile of it. Sorry about that, Zoria. An Aurora spirit resembling a human. The Aurora that cloaks their bodies guards them against attacks, against all forms of attack. They strike back, releasing their Aurora, at which point they become vulnerable. And that's just a snowball ghost. It's it's a yeti, apparently. Yeti are cloaked in a shaggy coat of smooth, dense hair that could be mistaken for a single piece of fabric. They will attack you with ice and snow. Uh-huh. Ooh, that's a lot of money. We can buy the gun if I want to. The supernatural being Balor awaits beyond the eternally frozen sealed lands. Baller keeps guard over the garb handed down by the Anunnaki. Wait, have I read Anunnaki in this game, or do I know that from something else? Because I've definitely read that word before. Those who don the garb must pass the pillar of swirling light, for then neither heat nor cold shall ail them. Okay. Cool music. Oh. Tezcat Katlipoka. That was lucky. Wait, how do I? I don't seem to be able to hit this guy at all. Nope. Uh, do we just teleport out? Doesn't seem like I can do much there. Anaki was in one. Don't remember if it's been in two. Not sure if anyone else can give me hints about that fight. If I like go visit someone, maybe. Haven't been at that other sage in a while. Maybe I should go back there. Oh, also, there was a shop here I wanted to go to, where they said like, "Oh, we don't have anything stocked right now. Maybe we can get something now." 
I really like this music. This might be my favorite track so far. Yeah, there we go. Hey there, come on in. This is the Lamalana Bargain Shop. Keener, Heiner. An Onkjul and Codices? Codices? These are Codices, ancient magic inscriptions. Phobos dug them up from the ruins. It lets you see how much HP bosses have left. I'll take it. I should have said no, though. There was only one of those. This is the Onkjul. Phobos restored it. You don't want it? It's a real bargain. There's only one Ankjul. Phobos had said that he may be able to make another one, though. Alright, well, there we go. Hint, don't die. I mean, you say that, but that's... It's not just that. Even if I don't die, we still need to kill him. So that's not all... All the information. I should probably save again after getting these. Guess I'll save here. Why not? Was there anything else here? I don't think I read these. It's not so bad being a skeleton. I made lots of friends. Look at all the roaches. I made it deeper into the ruins than Edrock. What is this? I'm thinking it's like if you reshuffle these somehow, it'll be some some name. Ed Roach? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna screenshot that just for now. I don't think it's relevant. God damn it. Hello. Oh. And then Phobos, does he have something to say, maybe? Oh, wait, can you, like, hit this? No. Kind of looks like the fastening thing for the chain here. Is that something there? Wait, do you just mean this thing or anything else? Because here I don't see anything. in the previous area. Ah, Samarantha. Male? Okay, didn't think so. <laughs> One of the four philosophers, Samarantha, is the philosopher of power. He's the greenhorn of the philosophers, and perhaps out of a need to prove himself, takes an active role in leading surveys and restoration of the ruins. 
He's called the Philosopher of Power, but isn't very good at heavy lifting. Our uh, gun funds are gone again. Need to start saving up more. And I guess that's Phobos up there, in that case. The Lamalana runes are now a far cry from what they once were. The runes are no longer, have I read this? Alive. And the renovations to attract tourists do not remedy the situation. For someone like I, who has lived there for so long, it's quite sad and unfortunate. Having lived above ground your entire lives, your people wouldn't understand. But for us, these ruins are where we were born and raised. Turning the ruin ruins into a tourist spot is just horrible. They're adding stairs and handrails here and there to make it more, more safer. I hate the huge ugly scaffolding and the plastic tarps everywhere. I wonder if touristy ruin sites above ground look similar. I mean, they definitely don't look like they did during their heyday. Just a grumpy old man. The Holy Grail is meant to be used for traveling to Holy Grail tablets in the ruins, so I have no idea why it's able to be used to travel to tablets above ground, and after the Elder had already meant moved the tablets somewhere else to build a shrine to boot. That must have been the work of the Seventh Children. Apparently there are special tablets inside the Aglana ruins that can be used if you possess the secret treasure of the Seventh Children. Isn't that just what I just got? The Lamina ru ruins? Yep, yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Alright, well, nothing relevant, but some more information at least. See, so yeah, I guess we need, like, double jump to get this, probably. I'm just gonna, like, take a screenshot here, just so I remember that, but it's a little unnecessary. And it's gonna be annoying to sort through. So now... What else can we do at this point? Hmm. Is there anything else that I, like, left for later and then forgot about? Yeah. I guess if you don't want to waste the weight, you can take the long way around here. Was there still more to explore around the second zone? That you mean the roots of Yggdrasil? Because yeah, I think there probably is some stuff there, but I'm not sure if I can do it right now. But I don't feel like we're done there completely. Wait, wasn't there... didn't I fall down here as well? Yeah, I can climb up there. I forgot about that. This is something we can do. The one after Roots? But the one after Roots is this one, isn't it? Or Divine Fortress? I think I did everything I could in Divine Fortress for now. Wait, how did I get up here again? Oh, those up here. Oh, and yeah, maybe there's some sigils in the Roots. One of those, like, number one origin seals. Maybe same in Divine Fortress. Now. Really? That just takes me here? God damn it. So that was pointless. Alright. So let's go back through the roots, I guess. Check that to begin with. 
And yeah, here's where sorting all the screenshots is going to be more and more annoying. Like, if I'm just moving in a kind of linear manner, then yeah, it's not too hard to just copy over like, okay, these 20 screenshots into this folder and these 20 into the this one. But yeah, when I start doing stuff like this, I'm certainly getting tempted to just do it all at the time of taking the screenshot. I might just start doing that. That bat really blended in. Hmm. Well, there's a seal there, but we need another one first. Don't think there's anything down here. Nope. God damn it. Jesus. Yeah, really hate these pitfalls. When all they do is just like be annoying. Like the first time, sure. But like, I don't know. They could just get like, if there was a mechanic where you could do something, if you could get an item that could like stop them from opening or something, like you could toggle it, just like crouch down and do a little move that would like lock them in place by expending a consumable item or something would be nice. Wasn't there something about a bunch of like torches or something? This definitely feels relevant. Cold steel alone. Have I even dropped down here? Oh, yeah. I was thinking if we can get like a bomb, if the grenade is in this game as well, we could probably like roll the grenade here and then climb up in time to like break the rock but still survive. Yeah, I'm not really finding much of note right now. And this is just Divine Fortress, right? Yep. Oh, there's a seal. Finally something. Oh god. Okay, there we go. Progress. Strongly suggested the Lamp of Time would be in this one too. Yeah, something like that. Anwin. Or wasn't it like An Anwaffen? An Anwaffen. I don't know how to pronounce it. Right, was it like An An Anun or something? What did you say last time? I forgot. Because it has nothing to do with how it's actually spelled. <laughs> Like, Welsh, or, uh, was it Welsh? Yeah, just explain that language, please. The leader of the Vanir, who claims he is the creator of the universe. He is so enlightened that he has lost faith in the world and refuses to speak to anyone. He spoke to me. He leads his clan, simply believing the end of the world will bring true justice. Bushan. But I already read that. Why do they keep doing this? Why do some of these keep, like... Yeah, I've read this. I is it because, like, I go back to them? If I talk to the same person again, their glossary just, like, updates to show you just talked to this person? I don't know.
push the white box, it says. Sure, I thinks. It doesn't seriously expect me to push it with my puny human arms, does it? It's gotta focus my key. Hoo-ha! Oh wait, never mind. I don't know Kung Fu. Anun. Anun. I don't know. Anun? Warrior statue. Bears a striking resemblance to the warrior statues in the Tula Sico that land ruins in Mexico. God fucking damn this game and all the pronunciation. There are too many words. So I guess this goes to the right. What are you? Elephant snake? Elephant lizard? Makara? It is an elephant lizard. A bizarre fish. Fish with a long nose like an elephant's trunk. It doesn't look like a fish. They keep this nose curled up, striking out when they spot an enemy. Their small legs give them just enough strength to crawl about on land, though some are said to have sturdy, powerful legs. Okay. Power shall be bestowed upon ye who pushes the white box. Seems pretty self-explanatory, so I guess new weapon or something? Oh, but I am too weak with my puny human arms. So I guess we need to get stronger first. Yeah. This music reminds me of a track in Jess Jackrabbit. What is that one called again? Especially that, like, electric guitar thing in the background during a specific section. Sounds like the main theme. Oh no, not these guys again. Kosugi research papers acquired. What's that app you just picked up? Your dad's research papers? What's he lo doing losing those? Kosugi, what? Wasn't it Lemetsa was my dad? I guess... Kosugi was like his... Wait. Is Lumisa not the daughter of Lemetsa? Is it the daughter of Kosugi? I don't know. Uh, originally, I contracted your dad and grandpa to investigate the ruins, and then you showed up for some reason. Or she... Lemetsa's granddaughter? Are they possibly already in Neglana? And your dad turning his research papers into an app. That's pretty baller. An app for reading the Kosugi family's research into the Lamalana ruins. Oh wait, Kosugi is my, like, family name? Yeah. Research into Eglana appears to be ongoing. Launch the app from the menu screen. File 1, Introduction. Okay, it's not too, too long. The assumed history of Lamalana based on inspections of the ruins. The Lamalana ruins which we discovered were built inside a huge living being. It was a gigantic living being thought to have fallen to Earth in prehistoric times. Its size is so great that for us, looking upon it is like an ant viewing a human and being unable to comprehend just how large the human is. According to the very few surviving legends, this huge being desired power in order to return to space? The being then bore small living, living beings from its own body. These new living, being, living things were the people who came to populate the Earth. These beings called the great being mother. Being, 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 being. How many times can we say being before it stops making sense as a word? Being. Being a word. Possessing innumerable large open spaces inside its body, this mother fostered these races inside itself. The remains of this structure are what we now know as the Lamalana ruins. We've now received a request from Elder Selpud to reinspect the Lamalana ruins. However, the past several years of research, my daughter and I have already become aware of the mysteries remaining at the Lamalana, the ruins of Lamalana. What was that light given off when the mother was sealed off? What is the zeroth child? What do the murals of upside down trees seen through Lamalana mean? Was that actually a thing in Lamalana 1 where they had like hints, uh, like teasers for Lamalana 2, things that didn't actually do anything but are now relevant? Could there yet be yet another? Set of ruins similar to Lamlana. I need to get my research in order so I can ascertain the truth of this terrifying theory. Oh boy. I do like the scrolling screens, at least. 
Tog. Tog is an amorphous creature with the head of a frog. He relentlessly appears from stone faces carved into the ruins. This is the original from which the Tog found in the Lama La This is the original from which the Tog found in Lama Lana ruins was copied. This original Tog is far more aggressive than his copies, and he inflates himself to guard against that against attacks. I can't read anymore. Oh no. Oh god, he is aggressive. He's very aggressive. Iglana forms the body of the original child. The Lokapala scheme to control Iglana at their whim, but they were opposed by another race, us. We of the Alfer, Alfer, are loyal to the Fairy King Frey. Lamalon had enough unclear things that you could just pick a dozen at random and say these are foreshadowing. Yeah, that's probably true. Oh, fantastic, I went and died. Thanks, Eglana. All I ever wanted out of life was to translate dirty games and play around with my phone. How am I supposed to do either of those without skin? What were you doing in here? To anyone who might stumble across this message, seriously, sit down and write that visual novel of yours. You're not gonna be around forever. I might, though. Oh, and can you feed my dogs for me, too? Thanks. I don't imagine that's relevant. Who knows, maybe that message holds the key to all of Eglana. Oh, what did I just hit? Was that a, a bat? The Alpha Seeress Prophecy Part 3. The Alpha saw the world of End, the fall of the mighty, its inhabitants scorched away by conflict. Yggdrasil awakens, saw the red star that grants a wish that is howled at the final gate. Uh huh. Just sounds like the Ankh to me, but maybe that's something else. Hi, fish thing. Odonto Tyrannos. Great. Odonto Tyrannos. Bizarre fish with three buffalo like horns sprouting from their heads. Their bodies are encased in hard scales and they can walk on land with the legs of a land dwelling animal. Some say they can swallow an elephant whole. Oh, Jesus Christ! Did I just miss a This is La Milana moment? Do I have to, like... Do I have to replay? Just to check that? Oh man. Guess we can't go here. Maybe he comes back? Oh, of course. The Serpent King Kalia, he seals the path to the Virtual Wise Man. Alright, we do want the Virtual Wise Man, whatever that was again in Lamanana 1, an app or something. Was that the scanner app? Uh, sure, I'll, I'll do this. This is Anun, the last bastion of resistance against those who seek to control Eglana. Okay, so let's just save on the new one here, and then I'm just gonna... Uh, I guess we'll just, first off, just load this save again. Because maybe he'll just be back, and I don't have to, like, get back here. Oh, but that doesn't, like, save all the enemies? Or doesn't update them? No, no, he's back. Okay, let's get eaten. Oh, yeah, it's just a tiny trap. All right, never mind. Thought it might be like a one-shot kill, so we don't need to worry about that. Yes, I found a switch behind the wall. Uh, now what? Switch behind the wall. Seems like we need rolling shurikens or something? I think we need something else.
Hi, guy. Map time. Huracan's room. Apsara. I picked up a note saying the purple eye keeps watch over death's prison. Would have been nice to have known that before I died. The purple eye? I don't know if that means just both a red and blue eye at the same time or something. A spirit that takes the form of a beautiful dancer. Apsara are said to wake the souls of the dead within their dance, with their dance, and manipulate them at will. They are also said to impede the training of any human who seeks the power of powers of the gods. They drop earth spears, so we'll get those pretty soon, it seems. The mantra harnessing alpha hidden relic. The mantra harnessing alpha hidden relic. Shouldn't that be like a hyphen, alpha hidden? The Jed Pillar. Like, if it's hidden by them. It is fated, fated to be swallowed by Kujata. I know, I know Kujata. Kujata from, like, uh... What was that again? Was that... Final Fantasy... 8? No. It's a Final Fantasy game, or some, some kind of game that has, like, a summon, where you summon a giant boar thing, and... It's that. The Guardian... Of Lokpala creation. So it looks more like a, a bull in this one. Hold on, I'm, I'm just curious. Yeah. Final Fantasy 7? Ah, Final Fantasy VII has the materia that has it be a summon. Yeah. Okay, never mind. That's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, that was a weird summon. Might just be an enemy. Yeah, I, I was just curious about like where I knew the, the word from. Huracan's stone statue bears a striking resemblance to one of the crater deities in Mayan mythology. Huracan is said to have created humanity, but was so en enraged by their ignorance that he triggered a cataclysm, purging them. His myth is thought to have stemmed from the destruction at the hand of the mother. Kujata's room. Mini boss time. I don't want to hit that. This looks like we'll drop down again, so I guess we have to find, find a different way. In there. Yeah, kind of, uh... Kind of about time to end it. Ah! Oh, Spiatcock! Yeah, it's a great name. Just mash your forehead against the keyboard a couple times and you get, like, character names for things. This is a fake one again. Yeah. Those who seek the golden key must first obtain the power to cling to walls. Yep, I do want that. Voluspa. I am Voluspa the Seer. I'm one of the few remaining Alfer. My pa powers of premonition are no more, and I now simply wait for the end. The Guardian controlling Anun prevents us from carrying out our plans. The Fairy King's powers are also waning. Please go speak to Frey the Fairy King. No thanks. Unlike your people, we six children have set roles to fill from the moment we are born. Frey has been Fairy King since birth, just as Freya was born to be Queen of Anun. Apart from our bodies eventually withering, we do not grow old. We simply continue to live for the purpose of fulfilling our respective roles. We are also unable to become anything more than that as which we were born. May you find power within you. I'm gonna screenshot that too, just in case. Don't think that that's relevant. Alright. Enjoy your... the rest of your days.
And that's about that here. Oh, and he's just, like, back every time. He can't even, like, kill this guy. Not really. Maybe if I had more damaging weapons. Yeah, this part in the, the music. Oh, damn it. Too late again. It just really reminds me of a song. A very good song. I gotta, like, find out what that's called again. Well, this is a fake one, yeah. The more powerful of the Alpha possess the, possess the gift of clairvoyance. Their efforts to preserve their prophecy for Eglana test the limits of their defiance against the Mother's influence. I guess with scrolling screens, that means that the, like, secret things could be in a much, much bigger area. Why would they name characters by smashing their heads against the keyboard when Wikipedia works so well? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, the people that came up with the names for Wikipedia were just smashing their heads against a, a keyboard. Like, all the mythology and stuff. The Guardian Kujata was set, set upon Anun by the Lokapala, only to be sealed by an Ankh at the hands of the Alpher Theorists. Damn it. I guess it's just over there on the left, maybe? That weird thing? Looks like it could be a... an openable door at some point. Or it could just be higher up. Yeah, it's probably higher up with this rock thing. Still can't push that. Ow. Okay. Don't hit that. This seems like a safe place to make camp. Tomorrow I'll find the treasure for sure. I wonder if he was successful. Kujata's room. Yeah. So that's like after we kill the mini boss, we can climb up and get that probably. Oh, maybe maybe I should have hit the wall there. Just in case. God damn it. Okay. No, nothing. All right, let's teleport out. And I think I will leave it off there for today. But now we do have some more threads to follow. There's more to explore here and I don't know, I already forgot, but there's definitely more threads to follow. Hopefully that keeps going. And yeah, we want to save up some more money as well. For uh, the gun and other stuff. Guess I should go back to Phobos as well, now that I have his Ankh Jewel. Alright. So there we go. More Lamalana complete. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Never mind, we'll read this message. By the way, there was something your dad told me. He says the archaeologists can't get caught up in common sense. I don't approve of damaging the ruins, but it's good to search for scalable places other than just ladders and sta stairs. Like places on walls or statues where you might be able to get a good grip or foothold. That's how you make new discoveries of things that normally wouldn't be found. Hey, I was trying to tell her this stuff. The early bird gets the worm. Disappoint face. Amazing. Alright. See you next time. Good night.